Death Borg Alpha, the first Borg in the largest tribe in the game. Seriously, like one fifth of the entire roster are these bad boys. The Death Borgs serve as an attempted emulation of other Borgs found in the game. However, they have a reduced cost compared to the Borg they're emulating, and they level substantially quicker. To offset this, however, they are substantially more fragile as well as somewhat rarer to obtain. Death Borg Alpha serves to emulate normal ninja. Its ranged B attack fires off quick moving, relatively well homing shurikens. They don't do a ton of damage, but these are going to be your main attack. Your melee B attack is a basic slash with your knife. Death Borg Alpha does not seem to have the secret melee abilities of Sasuke, so you're stuck with your basic knifing ability. And you don't ever want to be stuck with your basic knifing ability. Because of how fragile you are, trying to melee any opponent could be a death sentence. Death Borg Alpha also lacks the normal ninja's bomb attack, which not only reduces your overall combat efficiency, but also your dodging ability. In the end, if you were a fan of the normal ninja's dodging, shuriken slinging ways, Death Borg Alpha is actually a pretty fantastic alternative. Due to its low cost, it can fit in almost any force. But keep in mind, you have to stick to the ranged attack. 